everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe so today i'll be showing you how to crochet this corset top and this is how my top looks so we'll be making some rows some constant rows then rows of increase then constant rows again then after that we'll be making rows of decrease then lastly we'll be making the constant rows then after that i'll be showing you how to make this this point over here so this is where we'll be adding the strap to this point and it will be at the back of our top then after that we'll be making some slips to this top so let's get started and the following are the requirement to make this top so to make this top you require a measuring tape then a 3.5 millimeter hook and a yarn so this yarn it's a robin yarn and it's a 50 gram weight yarn so let's get started so to make this top first thing we will be chaining the length of this top so we will chain from this point up to this point then after that we will be making this constant rows so let's start by chaining this point up to this so we will start by making a slip knot as usual and this is how I make my slip knot Then after that, we'll be chaining the height of that top. So I'll be chaining 50 stitches. So that is the height of my top. If you want a longer top, you can chain more. And if you want a more cropped top, you can chain less. So chain 50. So chain 50 then after that I'll be there to show you what to do next. So um, so my waist is about 28 inches. So if you have the same waist and the same bust like mine, you can use my measurement. You can use you can just chain 50 stitches and, re and just repeat what I'm going to do. So after chaining the 50 stitches, so just chain one more stitch to make them 51 stitches. Then after that, we'll be alternating the half double crochet stitch and the slip stitch. So first, for the first stitch, you are going to make the half double crochet. And to make the half double crochet, you just yarn over. Then insert the hook onto the next stitch. Pull through the yarn. You should have three loops on your hook. Then after that, yarn over all the three loops at the same time. Then on the second stitch, you'll be making a slip stitch. Then on the next on the next stitch, after making the slip stitch, you'll be making a half double crochet again. So I've, uh, I've already explained on how to make the half double crochet. So just make a half double crochet. Then on to the next stitch, make a slip stitch. So alternate those stitches so after making the slip stitch make a um, make a half double crochet so just op just alternate the half double crochet in the slip stitch then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next i'm just going to complete this row and to complete this row i'll just complete the row with by making a half double crochet so for example if you started your row with a half double crochet you should end the row with a half double crochet so if you started your row with a slip stitch you should end the row with a slip stitch so i'm going to complete this row by making a half double crochet because i started the row by making a half double crochet so after making the half double crochet, I'll just chain one and turn my work around. And so if I've completed the row with the half double crochet, I'll be starting a new row by making a slip stitch. So we'll be alternating the stitches. So if you started the row by making, if you ended the row by making a half double crochet, you start the next row by making a slip stitch. So I'll slip stitch on top of that previous half double crochet then on the next stitch so on this stitch is the stitch that you had made a slip stitch and i'll be placing a half double crochet on it then on the other stitch you had made a half double crochet and i'll be placing a slip stitch on it then on this other stitch i had made a slip stitch and i'll be placing a half double crochet on it Then 
Then on the next stitch, I'll be making a slip stitch because I had made a half double crochet half double crochet on the previous stitch then on the other stitch i'll be placing half double crochet because that is a slip stitch stitch so we'll be alternating these stitches so if the previous stitch was half double crochet you'll be placing a slip stitch on top of that stitch so repeat this until you reach on this point then i'll be there to show you what to do on row two on row three so this is row two so after completing this row, I'll be there to show you what to do on row 3. So I'm almost completing my row. I'm almost completing my row 2. So on this stitch, I had made a slip stitch. So this is the previous stitch. So I had made a slip stitch. And on top of that stitch, I'm going to make the half double crochet. Then on this stitch, I had made a slip stitch. So on this stitch, I had made a uh, half double crochet so on this stitch I'll be making a slip stitch on top of it then after that I'm, I'm chaining one so after doing that you'll be chaining one and turning your work around so this stitch so this stitch you had made the slip stitch so what you are going to make on top of it is half double crochet so just place half double crochet on top of that stitch then onto the other stitch you had made the half double crochet so on top of it you are going to make a slip stitch then on this stitch you are going to make so on this stitch you are going to make a half double crochet because this stitch you had made a slip stitch so on top of it you are going to make the half double crochet so just alternate the half double crochet and slip stitch until you complete this row then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next so uh so you repeat row two so just repeat row two and row three until you achieve four inches and then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next and on the next section we'll be making rows of increase and i'll be there to guide you on how to increase this pattern so after four inches of constant rows, we are going to make rows of increase and we'll be increasing at the end of each and every row. So this is the, the beginning of this row. So we'll be increasing on this end of this row. And remember, this is not my exact measurement. This is the guideline. This is the guideline that I'll be using to show you what to do. So I'll be repeating the, the pattern that we have used on these other rows until uh, until I'm almost completing this row. This is where I'll be making an increase. So, so to complete this row, I'm remaining with two stitches. So I'm remaining with this stitch over here and this other stitch. So onto this stitch, this was a previous of double crochet so i'm going to just slip stitch on it then this stitch over here was a was a previous slip stitch so i'm going to make i'm going to make a half double crochet on top of it and because you and because you are going to make an increase i'll be adding a slip stitch onto that stitch so we'll be placing two stitches over here we'll be placing the half double crochet then after that we'll be making a slip stitch in order in order to increase this row so i'm going to add a slip stitch on on that same stitch where where I've made uh where I've made the half double crochet. So I'm going to make the slip stitch over there. Then after that I'm going to chain one and turn my work around. So this other this row that you are going to make right now it's a constant row we will, we will not make an increase. So so I've just completed my constant row. So on this other row, we'll be making an increase. And remember, we'll be making that increase at the end of this row. So I'm going to chain one, then turn my work around. So on the first stitch, I'll be placing after half double crochet. Then on the next stitch, I'll be placing I'll be placing a slip stitch. Then onto the next stitch, I'll be placing. I'll be placing the half double crochet then on the next stitch i'll be placing a slip stitch so repeat this until you are on the second last stitch then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next 
so i'm almost completing this row and on this at the end of each row we'll be making an increase and remember we'll be making increases only on the lower part of the top the upper part of the top should be constant so we are going to make an increase at the end of this row so so this is my second last stitch and it was a half double crochet so i'm going it was a slip stitch so i'm going to make a half double crochet on top of it then on this last stitch was a half double crochet so i'm going to make a slip stitch on it and because you are going to make an increase onto this stitch over here i'm going to add a half double crochet inside that stitch so at the last stitch we'll be placing two two stitches so i've placed a slip stitch and a half double crochet on that last stitch then after that i'll be chaining one then on this row it will be a constant row so repeat a constant row while alternating the slip stitch and the half double crochet so just repeat a constant row then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next so i've completed that constant row that constant row so after that chain one and turn your work around so remember this is a row of increase and you will be increasing at the end of this row so we'll be we'll be alternating the half double crochet and the slip stitch so just uh, alternate or just repeat what you have done on the other rows so i'm completing this row and i'm on the second last stitch so onto this stitch i'll be placing a slip stitch because it was a previous half double crochet then on this last stitch over here it was a it was a slip stitch so i'll be placing a half double crochet on top of it then because this row it's a row of increase we are going to add another stitch onto the same stitch so i'm going to add a slip stitch onto that same stitch where we have placed the half double crochet then after that i will chain one and turn my work around so i'll i will place i'll place a slip stitch onto this very first stitch so i'll be play, i will place a half double crochet on this very first stitch because the previous stitch was a slip stitch so i'm going to play i'm going to place a half double crochet on top of it then after that i'm going to place a slip stitch so repeat rows of increase just repeat rows of increase until you achieve seven inches then after that i'll be there to show you so this is from this point up to this point so those are the rows of increase so just repeat that then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next so after completing making the seven inches of of rows of increase you should your pattern should be increasing like this so your pattern should be increasing like this from this point up to this point so those are the rows of increase then after that you'll be making the constant rows and you'll be making the constant rows for we'll be making the constant row for two inches so this from this point up to this point is four inches then from this point up to this point is seven inches then these are the rows of increase then from this point up to this point is two inches and those are constant rows so from now so so on this section i'll be showing you how to make the constant row it's just a repetition of what you have done on this other side so i'm going to show you how to make this constant rows then after that i'll be showing you how to make the decrease so let's make the constant row so after completing the seven inches of rows of increase we'll be making two inches of constant rows and the constant rows are the rows with no decrease or increases so on this row we we'll just make a constant row so from from so i'll be alternating the half double crochet and slip stitch without without any increase so repeat 
the constant rows until you achieve two inches then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next So just repeat that, then after that I'll be there to show you what to do next. So after completing making the constant row, which are two inches, so from this point up to this point, they are constant row and they are two inches. So after that you'll be making the rows of decrease and I'll be guiding you on how to make these rows of decrease and they should be the same inches with the with the rows of increase so if this was seven inches the rows of decrease also should be seven inches so i'll be showing you how to make this rows of decrease so let's get into it so also to make the rows of decrease you'll be decreasing them on the lower side so on the lower side where you had made the increase it's the same lower side where you'll be making the decrease so we'll be we'll be repeating the normal pattern until you reach on this lower side so repeat alternating the the half double crochets and the slip stitch until you are until you remain with two stitches then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next so i'm i'm remaining with two stitches and for this stitch you have placed the slip stitch and this other stitch we should place the half double crochet but you are going to skip this stitch so as to make the decrease so we are going to skip this stitch and place the half double crochet onto this other stitch so just place the half double crochet onto this stitch like that then after that chain one and turn your work around on this other row it should be a constant row so slip stitch onto that stitch over there because the previous stitch was the slip was the half double crochet so you are going to slip stitch on it then on the next stitch you are going to make the half double crochet and you just repeat alternating the half double crochet and the slip stitch until we complete this constant row So repeat this until you complete this row and I'll meet you onto, onto the next row to show you what to do next. So I've completed my I've completed my constant row. So we are going to start the row of decrease. And remember we'll be decreasing the we'll be decreasing this row at the end of it. So after that we'll chain one and turn our work around. So we'll be alternating the slip stitch and the half double crochet until we reach the end of this row. That's the point that's the point where we'll be making a decrease. So repeat alternating the half double crochet and the slip stitch until you reach until you are remaining with two stitches then after that i'll be there to show you how to decrease this row so i'm almost completing this row of decrease and i'm remaining with two stitches so i'm just going to skip the second last stitch so i'm going to skip this stitch over here then i will be placing a slip stitch so this previous stitch was half double crochet so on the next stitch i'll be placing a slip stitch on it so skip this stitch and place a slip stitch onto the next stitch like that so that's how we are going to make a decrease then after that chain one and turn your work around so so make a constant row after making the row of decrease then after com after completing this constant row repeat a row of decrease then after completing that row of decrease repeat a constant row so repeat that until you achieve until you achieve seven inches then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next 
So after completing the seven inches of row of decrease, we'll be making constant rows and we'll be making four inches of constant row and they should be equal to these four constant rows that you made on the other side so after completing the rows of decrease make four inches of constant rows then after that i'll be showing you how to make this part so how to make this pattern this is where we'll be adding the straps at the back of this top so just repeat the four inches of constant rows then after that, I'll be showing you how to add this pattern. So on this section, we are going to make this, this pattern over here. And remember, we'll be making this pattern while you are crocheting. We'll start making this pattern while you are crocheting, while moving upwards. So to make this pattern, ensure that you are moving upward. So let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. So for this pattern, we start by making the double crochets. So we start by chaining four. So just start by chaining four. So chain one, two, three, and four. Then after that, we are going to skip this stitch. Then onto the next stitch, place onto the next stitch, place a double crochet on it. Then after that, chain one, skip the next stitch. Then onto the next stitch, place the double crochet. So just chain one again, skip the next stitch. So skip this stitch over here. Then onto this next stitch, place the double crochet. So, so this is what I meant by crocheting while moving upwards. As you can see, I'm crocheting while moving upwards. So after that, chain one, then skip the next stitch, then onto the next stitch, place half double crochet. So just repeat that until you complete this row. Then after that, I'll be there to show you what to do next. So I'm almost completing this row and I'll complete this row by making the double crochet on the last stitch. So place a double crochet just place a double crochet on the last stitch. Then after that, chain one and on this on this we'll be repeating a row of single crochet so just place a single crochet on the chain one space that you have already chained so place a single crochet over there then place a single crochet on top of the previous on top of the previous double crochet just like that then again place a single crochet inside the chain one space that you have made just like that then place um a single crochet on top of the on top of the of the double crochet that you have made then again place a half double crochet a single crochet not a half double crochet so just place a single crochet inside the chain one space then place a single crochet on top of the previous double crochet so just repeat that until you complete this row then after that I'll be there to show you what to do next so I've completed making a row of single crochet and remember after making that row of single crochet you should be at the lower part of that top. So the lower part of the top is where the edges are forming. So let me show you what I mean by the lower part of the top. So this is the lower part of the top because it's a bit cut. So after completing making the single crochet on this point you should also make the single crochets on the lower part of this top so after completing making this pattern like i had shown you you repeat four rows of the same pattern on the top of this top so you repeat this pattern on top of this top so just repeat four rows of that pattern then after that i'll be showing you how to make this strap so i've already made one strap so i'll be showing you to how to make the other strap so let's get into it in this section i'll be showing you how to make the sleeves for this top so what you do you just fold the top like this ensure that these constant rows are at the back of the top so i'll be folding my top like this to ensure that these constant rows are at the back of the top then after that i'll just turn my top so after that take your measuring tape and measure three inches from this end from this end of the top 
so I'm going to to measure three inches like that then after that on this cutting over here it will be attaching the yarn so i'll just insert my hook over there then after that i'll be attaching the yarn so just attach the yarn then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next so after attaching the yarn you just pull through you just insert the hook pull through the yarn then after that chain one so chain one so this stitch will be placing a slip stitch because this stitch was half double crochet so i'll just place a slip stitch on it then on the next stitch i'll be placing a half double crochet so i'll repeat that for the next six for the next six stitches so this is my first stitch my second my third fourth fifth this one is my the is my sixth stitch and it will be my last stitch so after that i'll chain one and turn my work around so i'll just slip stitch onto the first stitch because the previous stitch was a half double crochet so so i'm um, at the end of this row so i'll be placing half double crochet on it because the last stitch was a slip stitch then after that i'll chain one and turn my work around So that is what you'll be repeating until you achieve the size that will, will go around your arms, that will go around your shoulder. <laughs> so repeat that until you achieve the length that will go around your shoulders. Then after that, I'll be there to show you what to do next. So let's take the measurement of my previous stitch. It's about 11 inches so my previous my previous sleeve it's about 11 inches so after that you'll be attaching the sleeve on the other side so ensure that you will attach the sleeve on the stitches that are behind the other stitches that you had started making this sleeve so we'll be attaching it on this side and on the stitches that are opposite this other stitches so hope my explanation is clear. <laughs> so we'll be attaching the, this we'll be attaching this strap on this side. Then also I'll be completing this strap, then attach, then I'll be attaching it on this side. Then the last thing that you are going to make is the straps. The strap that will be going around the back of this top so for that strap you chain as many stitches as possible then after that you repeat you repeat one row of half double crochet then after that you start zigzagging th that strap around this top and then that is it so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hope this tutorial was helpful so bye in this section i'll be showing you how to make this sleeve so i've already made my one sleeve so i'll be guiding you on how to make this this other sleeve so first thing that you do you just attach the yarn at this end so just attach your yarn so this is the strap that you had made so after that you'll be attaching the yarn on this section so I'll meet you after attaching the yarn then after that i'll be showing you what to do next so we'll be placing we'll be placing half double crochet we'll be alternating the half double crochet and slip stitch at the end of each row remember we made this strap using a ribbed pattern so we'll be placing the slip stitch and single crochet at the end of each row so repeat this and i'll meet you at this point where we started to make to make the sleeve so i've completed my first row of alternating the slip stitch and the half double crochet so this is where i'd chain two so i'm going to slip stitch 
So just insert the hook on where you had chained to. Then after that, make a slip stitch. Then the first stitch was a slip stitch over here. So after making a slip stitch, you just turn your work. You just turn your work around. So slip stitch, then after that, chain one and turn your work around. So this first stitch was a slip stitch. So I'm going to place a half double crochet on it. Then this other stitch was a half double crochet. So I'm going to place a slip stitch on it. Then this other stitch was a was a half double was a slip stitch. So I'm going to place a half double crochet on it. Then this one was a this one was a half double crochet. So I'm going to make a slip stitch on it. So repeat this until you complete this row. Then after that, you are going to chain one, then turn your work around. So remember, we'll be turning our work around so that you can up, so that you can make this pattern. So I'm on to the third row, so I'm completing my second row. So to complete this row, you just insert the hook on where you had chain one, then pull through the yarn, then after that slip stitch, then after that you are going to chain one, so chain one and turn your work around. So we'll be repeating this pattern of alternating the half double crochet in the slip stitch. until you are satisfied with the length of your sleeve. So let me take the measurement of the sleeve that I've done. So you repeat this until you achieve 6 inches, then after that I'll be there to show you what to do next. So I've already completed making making my 6 inches of the slip, so I'll get into the next pattern. So on the next pattern we'll be using single crochet, so in each and every stitch you'll be placing a single crochet. So on this stitch over here we'll be placing a single crochet, so on this pattern where we'll be using single crochet we'll be reducing this sleeve so this is the first sleeve that I had made and we'll be reducing the lower part of the sleeve so so we'll be making 10 we'll be making 10 single crochets then after making 10 single crochet you skip one stitch then make again 10 other single crochets then after that skip one stitch so this is to reduce the lower part of the sleeve so this is my first single crochet, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, nine. So after that you'll be skipping a stitch, so skip that stitch over there, then again count 10, 10 stitches, so count 10 single crochets, so that is my first, second, third, 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 this is my fourth, sixth, Seven, eight, ninth. This one is my tenth. Then after that, we'll be skipping a stitch. Then make other ten single crochets. Then after that, skip a stitch. So repeat this until you complete this row. Then after that, I'll be there to show you what to do next. So I've completed making my making my first row of decrease so i'm going to slip stitch onto the first single crochet that we made so slip stitch over there then after that chain one and turn your work around so after on this row we'll be making five stitches five single crochets then after that we'll be skipping a stitch so make five single crochets then after that skip 
skip a stitch so let's get started this, this is my first single crochet my second my third my fourth fifth then i'll skip this stitch over here so i'll be skipping this stitch then after that i'll start my first my second my third fourth fifth then after that skip the next stitch then place a single crochet on the next stitch so repeat this until you complete this row then after that i'll be there to show you what to do next so i've completed my second row of my second row of decrease so we are going on to the third row so for the third row it's just a repetition of what we have done on the second row so i'm going to chain one then after that i'll be turning my work around so on the first five stitches we'll be placing a single crochet then after making five single crochet we skip a stitch so just keep a stitch then place a single crochet on the next five stitches so we'll be repeating this pattern until your arm can can go through that so until your arm can fit over here so don't decrease a lot so don't decrease a lot so i will be making about another row of decrease then after that i'll be showing you how my top looks so don't decrease a lot so that it can't be difficult for you to put your arm through so just repeat the same pattern until you achieve the size that it's it's comfortable for you so this is how my top looks after completely making the sleeve so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and bye and thank you for watching till the end till the end of this tutorial was helpful so let's meet on the next tutorial bye